first. Crystal Jalen, impact, six seconds. Phaser is fire. <laughs> Smithfield, old speaker, sir. Mike. Our team, we can't take another hit from that plasma weapon. Warp drive is down. The port nacelle is gone. Impulse is at 35 percent, and shield generators are just trashed. Weapon status. Torpedo bank circuits are fused. So I'll have to bypass them, and you only have one phaser bank. I need weapons, Mike. Aye. They're coming around. Firing disruptors. Evasive. Return fire. I've lost phasers. Analysis. They are heavily damaged, but we can't target them while they remain cloaked. And they only have to decloak for a few seconds to fire. They still have the tactical advantage. They have no shields or weapons while they're cloaked. We need to find a way to see the Romulan vessel. Lieutenant, open subspace communication. Aye, sir. All long-range communications are being jammed. They give me ship to ship. Yes, Commander. Commander, the Federation captain is signaling us. Ah, to surrender, I suspect. A great victory is at hand. Put him on our screen. Earth vessel, identify yourself. This is Commander Robert Tackett of the Federation starship Farragut. Ah, Commander Tackett. And you are? Your conqueror. Surrender and prepare to be boarded. That's funny. I was about to say the same thing. You have violated treaty and illegally entered the neutral zone. If you do not surrender your vessel immediately... We have evidence of a Romulan vessel in Federation territory, which has collided with one of our ships. Clearly an act of war. I deny knowledge of any such act. Clearly it was... Unintentional? Accidental. We are on a rescue mission to recover any survivors from the Federation vessel. There are no survivors on that planet, Commander. Remove yourself from this star system immediately. You know I can't do that. And you know I cannot allow you to live. You have been a worthy adversary, Commander. So your plan was to antagonize her? Mr. Logan, set a course for a close orbit of the red giant star. How close an orbit, sir? 500,000 kilometers. Are you serious? That's inside the star's corona. Without shields, we can't take the heat from that star for even a few moments. And the solar winds will pummel the Farragut with radiation. We only need a few moments. The solar wind. I, I still don't understand. We can't get the Romulans to decloak, but we can see the solar wind. When the Romulans follow us into the path of the solar wind... And you made sure they'd do that. We utilize our sensors to target where the displacement. And we shoot at their wake. In our current condition, we'll only have one shot at this. Sensors ready, sir. Mike? Phasers and photon torpedoes ready, sir. Tie in the weapons targeting from Mr. Jalen's computer. Aye, sir. Detecting the wake, 5,000 kilometers aft. Spin us around 180 degrees. Full impulse. <laughs> Mr. Jones, target weapons and engines only. Aye. All weapons, fire!
get out of here. Mr. Logan, best possible speed out of Star's Corona. Aye, sir. Mr. Jalen, tractor me. This is a bad idea. What are we doing? Once he realizes the disruptor didn't really hurt him, he's going to come looking for us. Why does he keep stalking us? It's all he knows. Killing and destruction. Why didn't you tell me, Dad? I didn't want my disease to be the reason you agreed to see me. I hoped we'd get to know each other a little bit before you found out. I didn't want you to do anything out of pity. Does Mom know? Why, Dad? She could have helped you. She would have poured everything into me, my sickness, forsaking everything she cared about, but after everything this disease has taken from me, I, I couldn't let her do that. Remember, remember the picnics we used to go on when you were young. Once you get us out of this, maybe the three of us could get together again and go on another one. Finally have that family chat. We could do that. He's close. He's adapting. It's right around here somewhere. I know it. There it is. What do we do? I'll lure it away and you get the plan. You can't outrun that thing. She'll see my high school track mates. I did. Son. Now! Here! Here! Romulan 3! I'm detecting debris in the upper atmosphere. So the horse did go down here. Scan for life signs. Detecting two human life signs, very faint, and... And what, Mr. Jalen? There's something else down there, in close proximity to the human life signs. I'm not sure what it is. Pinpoint and transfer their coordinates to Lieutenant Galway. I'll be in the transporter room. Mr. Logan, you have the car. Wipe some signs. <laughs> I've got the coordinates. Energize me. I'm sorry.